Let's first look at a simple series circuit. It is a series circuit because the wires between the batteries and motors form a single path. Now we could wire a switch up anywhere on the path regardless of position and the switch would complete or break the circuit. For example, I wired a switch into the circuit and it now can turn the motors on and off. This happens anywhere I place the switch in the circuit. Now a parallel circuit can have two or more paths. In the case of this parallel circuit, you can see there are two paths. The first path, the wires go from the battery to the motor in the middle and then back to the battery. The second path, the wires go from the battery to the motor on the far left and then back to the battery. There's no complete circuit on the left since it's only motors with no battery in that path. Now we can wire a switch anywhere along the paths, but unlike the series circuit, different placements of the switch can have different effects. If I wire a switch next to the battery and before it branches onto the two different paths, it will turn on and off both of the motors. If I wire the switch after the wires branch from the battery and next to the inner motor, the switch will only control that motor. The switch is not in the path of the motor on the left. Similarly, I can also wire the switch after the wires branch to affect the outer path of the left motor. You are not limited to just one switch. You can wire in multiple switches. Here I've wired back in all three switch positions I've already shown. Right now, all switches are on. The switch next to the battery and on both pads still controls both motors. Assuming that switch is on, you can use the other two switches to turn on and off the two motors individually. Now beware, if the switch closest to the battery is turned off, none of the other switches will work because all the switches must be turned on in a path for that path to work. 